Hello! It's time for another replay, well, I'd say replay, replays of sorts from me, the Blind Manticore on World of Tanks. Now, it's going to be something completely different to what I normally do because it's going to be uh, sort of like a little bit about how a single mistake can ruin an absolutely brilliant game. And I've got three replays to show you. All of them are in my ISU 152, the tier 8 Russian tank destroyer with the dreaded Canon the BL-10. Now those of you who are not familiar with the uh, BL-10, the stats the information that tells you everything on a standard armor piercing round. It's got 286 average penetration, 750 average damage. If you decide you do want to put in a bit of uh, armor piercing composite rigid then it puts the penetration up to an average of 329 pretty much a penetrating anything that you find apart from the odd one or two things and then you do have the option of high explosive rounds which only having the 90 penetration but 950 uh, damage so if you manage to get a shot in the ass of a few tanks with low um, armor at the back you're going to do some serious damage to them but let us get on now as you can see this is a tier 8 battle on the mines map so i am top tier uh, so i am expected with the bl10 to do pretty good um, so we'll get things ticking along here so we can see what goes on and <coughs> This is going to be really annoying. It's a, a fairly easy spread of tanks, you know, with, with heavy tank throws. Um, they've got one more heavy than uh, we have, and we've got one more medium. Uh, then the tank destroyers are fairly leveled out, uh, you know, half is fairly leveled out. And they've also got, yeah, sort of like, two light tanks as well. Now, one thing I would say is watch out for their AMX 12T. He is going to prove crucial here. I'm going to switch over to viewing what I'm actually doing here. So we know that they've managed to get a couple of tanks up the hill. Now taking position up in the hill here, which is a great spotting distance. And as you can see, I'm keeping my distance a bit back from the uh, bush, which is help hide me. So 234 over there, but he's not not poking. Okay, so we've got an IS, we've got an IS3. Are we really going to make any headway? Oh, and hello, we have got an IS3. Big hit on the top of him. Okay, so the reload time on this is a bit for 15 seconds, but I want to run it. So we've got the back counter missing. So we're trying to get up the hill. I mean, I'm getting up the hill, just to say. We can know what's going on. There we go. 10 on the IS. And so far, I have not been spotted. Which is good. Despite the fact that there's a couple of things I've got. Oh, hello. And we've got a dead hand. Can I get anything up there? Yeah. Well, three of them. Pretty good at it. That's one dead. Now, backing up a little bit, making sure that they can't see me. I've got camo on my tool as well, so that helps uh, hide you when things are going on. Right, so they've got a fair few tanks up the hill, and they've got the IS-3 trying to get up there. So I'm keeping an eye on what's going on. So we've got 234 trying to creep around the corner. So the IS-3 has managed to look like to get round, and is heading up along with the IS. The IS may have just been a bit of a cordon he could chew. And to the BK3002. Oh, hello, AMS. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> that was only a low damage low damage kill, which is disappointing, only 24. Considering how much each round costs, that is disappointing. So we've lost T71 over there. BK3002. Can't get anything on him. So let's see what we can do. Oh, 
day. Put the eye on the uh, VK there. So we are uh, five four down at the moment. So I have oh hello, just a little bit of the ice the winning. 652 damage, so that is showcasing what the BL10 is all about. Make no mistake about it. Oh, hello, Mr. IS. Now, yeah, that, that is really showing off the. Uh, yeah. Oh, the VK. The VK is available now. Am I going to be able to do anything on him? Am I going to do anything on him? Another cheap kill, 29 damage. Not great at all. Well, yes! Yes! <laughs> Hallelujah! Hello, AMX 46 has just cut down. Unloaded, unhidden. Got him. Hello. That scumbag. That <laughs> oh, yeah. So there you go. Five kills so far. Done 3,295 damage. So now let's see what else we've got coming up. We've got T34, we've got uh, 4 sig, and we've got WZ 131. We've got a pretty handy little um, RT as well as on the M12. <coughs> Now at this point I haven't actually moved from my location here. I've sat still. Alright, the 234 is down. WZ is up. I'm gonna poke around. So the danger one is really is forcing. But the horse is coming up the hill. He's having a look. And I have got a shot on him. There's a work of art. There we go. So I put 663 damage onto him. And I believe it's a D43 moment to get another decent little hit on him. And reduce him really far down from damage. D43 really got to be careful. Oh, I've got the thinnest of thin. But no. Thought he could really need a snapshot. Can he get in? Yes, he can. So that's the forcing down. But the C43 is also down, destroyed by Arty. Uh, as I said, he's a pretty useful artist. But at this point, it's me. As you say, 12 14, it's me against two Arty and the AMX 12 2 light tank. And we are getting near to the point where I make my mistake. So far everything has been pretty much spot on. I've been covering here, shooting, taking the shot really well. I don't think I've actually missed a shot so far. You know, eight eight shots, eight hits. Brilliant. So I'm hovering around thinking like where they're gonna come from, where they're gonna be. And what we've got to think about is the AMX 12T is gonna be a useful scout. And the FV304 Quite the fact that he's RT, he is a fast little nippy bugger of an RT, so he could be very, very dangerous. So I'm, I am believing that the AMX 12 here is going to come along the, along this route to the island, but I'm covering covering all bases, trying to make sure. But. Looking, looking, if I sit still and get the binoculars up. But I don't sit still long enough to get the binoculars up. And all the while I am moving is giving the AMX 12T an opportunity to spot me if he's about. But so far my sixth sense has not pinged. 
Now at this point I'm thinking, hmm, it might be worth going around the long way to possibly cap. You know, see if I can get hold, see if I can do, do some damage on one of the RTs and take him out. I'm, I'm dithering here. I am dithering. I am going. Drop down. Make sure I don't damage the track. That would be really lethal if I was stuck. And oh, we've got a bird. We've got a bird. Snap shot. And there's the other RT. So they were working in unison, the M12 covering Bert as he was making his run, and I was lucky. Now here is where I think, okay, best course of action. Pop myself up the hill, because I've got a good view, I possibly view out into their cap area, and see if the RT is there. I can keep an eye on our cap area, so if the 12T happens to sneak along and get in, I can view him. So slowly but surely winding my way up. And there's still, you know, over five minutes left. So it's not like I'm like gonna pan out. But I've now got six kills. I've got four thousand two hundred and twenty-three damage. Nine shots, nine hits. That is the lethality of the BL10. But also, I have used, I only get 10 normal 80 rounds, and I've used the 9 of them. So it'll start getting expensive when I start going into using gold rounds, premium rounds. However, to be perfectly honest with you, the tanks that are left, I should really go about using high explosive rounds. So here. Park myself up, I'll look. And they're capping. They are capping. There's only one tank that's head to doing that in all in reality. And that is the AMX 12 T. So I'm going to like get myself back into the corner now. This is where I make a huge mistake. You know, really, really make a bad mistake here. Because all I should have done is I should have loaded the high explosive shell. Because in the couch there, so I sit here, I check. There's only really one place it can be. And that is back there. So the bush back there. Why don't we stop it here? That, What's going on? That was a big load mistake load. as well dropping myself off I was in such a hurry. That 379 damage wasted. So I'm making the rush. Making the rush. Now I've been spotted. I have been spotted. And I know exactly where he is. He's in the bush right where I'm pointing now. There he is. Snap shot and he's been and you can go around. So I'm hoping maybe I could I could have got a slight crack on him, but that's 329 damage I don't know And I need to reload, I need to reload, can't get it, he's beating me. Oh no It's all over. So here we have the second battle. Now this one is again it's a tier eight encounter battle, well this is here encounter battle last one was actually a standard battle and this one is on the Okorovka map and as you see this one's a lot more <coughs> heavy and tank destroyer centric um, with a lot of you know was it uh, two four six eight heavies on the enemy side and two four six heavies on our side but we have got seven tank destroyers to their five. Now we've both got ISU 152, me and the enemy. We've got a couple of Hellcats, they've got one. They've also got the Churchill gun carrier. 
interesting choice. But without further ado, let's see where we go with this one and where I make my mistake. So, as you can see, I'm just ping the map. So, and I'm going to head over to the road. Wash the dirty scumbag. Okay, there we go, yeah. I'm heading onto the road. I'm going to play over there. <coughs> got the Jack Panther coming with me as well. And I've got some support. But not a lot of movement going on over there. There's a lot of movement. And look. Maybe one has been a bit um, gung ho and a tiger two being a bit gung ho there. And then we've got enemy AMX 12T doing a good scout on job. Now I'll have a look at it, but decide no. I need to get back on track, back to where I'm going. So we've got our STA1 medium tank people doing a bit more scouting. A little bit hesitant. And we've now got enemy Cromwell as well. I'm like sat here and I'm yeah, not really doing anything. Not I wouldn't call this a mistake but I'm not really being productive here so so I'd head back to what I do best. And the enemy has started capping but keep carefully on to the proper offer you get the tapping out really really early anyway you know and oh Doug Panther has taken a hit and I've taken probably a couple of hits that's probably not the damage that we've actually taken now I'm gonna cut myself into a nice blue position over here just give me a good overview of what's going on any Conwell is showing there and once more, as you can see, I'm parking myself behind bushes to minimise stuff. I have got a 110. Let me put him into position. There we go, a big high roll, 81 damage on a tier 8 heavy tank. He's running. He's running for the stars because he is effectively a one shot for me now. So, I'm not going to push as much as I want to at my end. So I'm just going to sit and I'm going to wait. And there's Cromwell, who is a one shot for me. And he's gone. 750 damage, gone in one hit. So, we've got Jack Panther and what of the guys three are going to be pushing up. We've got Cody on it pushing up as well, doing a bit of scouting there. Now we know that there was a 110. Now, KV1F oh, throwing itself up and the 110. Can I get anything on it? Oh, I can get KV1F. Oh, it's a dead tank. Yeah, now I'm going to look at the uh, 110. Setting back in light on the, or wait upon the reload here. So, you know, he's disappeared, he's out of my range, nobody else. And we've got the AMX 12T again. Right, enemy Hellcat has popped up. And an E25 has just taken out. So, there's the E25. Now, they are sneaker in buggers. Very low profile. Fast firing. Fun tanks, I must say. I do enjoy playing them. Because we've got three. Yeah, fairly dangerous tanks there. Hellcat, E25 and the ARL44. I'm going to push and push. Now the ice is taking a, a hit there. And, and another one, I'll say he's taking a hit probably from the... That's the Hellcat. Yeah, ARL, they've all, all the tanks are taken. There we go. I've got it lined up. That's a very low roll, unfortunately. Very low roll. But hopefully, 
This is a taken up. There we go. E25 is gone. So we've got a Hellcat now. Hellcat has... Nope, the ARL has actually destroyed the IS-3. So I know that we've got a Hellcat. I know we've got an ARL-44 over there. And again, the enemy are capping and it looks like the hill has been lost. So we've got a tiger covering the downward trajectory. And we'll pass up here in the bush and see if anything pops up. But Hellcat, really good camo. Excellent camo. And the ARL count. AMX is even very annoying all battle. And that was unfortunate. If I could have got him, that would have been really useful because we can. Very, very annoying scouting tank. It, it seems yeah, the last game I had an aim at 12 2 as well. They are very, very annoying tanks, it must be said. So I'm going to make a push. A bit dangerous because we know that there was a health cap. So I'm full health. There's my no ARL. I'm going to stick it into him. Big <laughs> so I'll leave the FTA to clean that one up. As he does. And there is the Hellcat. Now it'll be a cheap kill if I get him. Suck it'll be a kill nonetheless. <laughs> so at the moment, I've missed one shot. Well, I've actually missed one shot, which will be on the AMX. But Six hits, 3,427. And we've got the gun carriage perfectly lined up. He's stationary. Boom. Oh, Thank you very much. Tear mm. so now yes. we've got a tiger over there. Yes. Yes. And the AMX still. What is going on over here? Not a lot. So the SJ is having a good push there. There's a T29 up on the hill. And the Tiger 2 taking a bit of a hit. That's going to be important as well. Our Tiger taking a hit. So we've lost our Tiger. So it's now me and the SJ against four enemy tanks. We've got T29, which is up on the hill. We've got Tiger 1, Tiger 2, and the AMX 12. Now, I have got shots on the T29. And we'll take one. Excellent. And we've got a decent hit on him, a decent round. The MTA is back there. T29 is gone. So, SPA is covering the line. We have got Tiger out there. And he is just about to And. Big hit. And he's taking two big hits for 181 damage for help remaining. Push, I'm gonna push. Now. And what I should have done here, I am a full health ISU. And what I should have done is I did a I I don't push for it. I should have gone for it, you know, yes he's got pretty good gun, but he would have only done about 200 knot damage, only made 300 knot damage, and still left him with two thirds of my health. I should have gone for it, pop over, and I'm I'm saying on the STA, go, stop the cap. I'm telling him to get on, but he's, he's back there, so I, at this point, you know, still dithering, I'm still dithering, and this is where I'm making a mistake. 
So you're getting down to 40 seconds remaining on the tapping. And I go. I'm going to let him right. Got it. Up and over. He hits me, doesn't do any damage. I miss him. Not good. I take unnecessary damage when you don't have to. So. This is the problem. And about another shot from him. We're down 16 seconds. I'm reloading. I'm reloaded. And the 10 seconds. He's still not. Well, he's done a little bit of damage on me. Get up. Boom. Now, 5 seconds. I have not got enough time to get myself reloaded. Yeah, so if I'd gone, I could have hit one of those two tanks and probably, yeah, could have hit him, killed him. And that just sort of like killed the game. And it was another huge game 5,485 damage, 11 hits. And I actually got down to using premium ammo there as well. Hmm.